What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Root of the Null here, coming back at you with some more Python tutorials, and I'm finally getting into threading. Now, threading is really, really cool. The module is called simply that, just plain old threading, and what it does is it allows you to have um, different threads. <laughs> and I know that's really not a good explanation for what it is right now, but it's a higher level threading interface on top of the lower level thread module. And um, like I was saying earlier, what it allows you to do is sort of multitask. It allows you to have different processes running at the same time. Like normally you're used to code being being very procedural, you know, like you do one command right after the next. And uh, it happens all like linearly, one at a time. Well, this with threading you're allowed to have multiple processes. It's like things happening all at the same time. It's synchronized. It's simultaneous. And that's really cool. So um, the documentation online actually recommends checking out like modules called Mutex and uh, Q as well. And typically you'd be interested in this if you have like a, a computer that has multiple cores or multiple processors. Because I mean, you're going to be running multiple processes. So there's another module called multi-processing, and you can definitely check that out as well. I'm not going to get into that a whole lot right now, because right now, I'm really excited about threading, and that's what we're going to be checking out. Okay, so, to uh, really get the ball rolling, I'm just going to go ahead and create a file. I'll save this as, um, usthreading.py. I guess you can't even see it. I'm typing it up above the screen. usthreading.py, that's going to be mine. I'm always going to be testing these and running them in the terminal. So Python us threading threading dot py and I save that in a different location than I wanted to. I'll leave it in my home directory. Okay. Now we're ready to roll. So I'm excited about this. I'm gonna kinda whip out our shebang line. <laughs> That's so fun to say, like whip out the shebang, you know? And uh we'll get started with our typical boilerplate code. And uh we're gonna want to, of course, import threading. So like I was saying, threading allows you to do multiple things at once. So we're going to see this in action right now. The first function I want to show you guys is kind of pretty simple. It's called active count. And what that does is it returns the number of threads that you currently have running. Because if we can have multiple things happening, obviously, sometimes you might want to know what are the current thread objects that are alive? What's running right now? And uh, I'm going to go ahead and print this out. If I run this, you can see that there is one thread running. Well, that's weird, right? We didn't even, we didn't even like create any threads, but I mean, we can obviously do that with the threading module. What's going on here? So it's interesting, the active count function actually returns the length of a function called enumerate. So threading.enumerate, what that does, let's, let's run this, check it out. It's going to display, okay, here are all of the threads that are actually running. And uh, there's a thread there, uh, when, I think when it started, I don't really know exactly what that helps. Maybe that's like the time since the epoch, so you have like a, a, a time that you know when it started. And you have a name of the thread. If we were to create multiple threads, if we had others going here, it would be a list, like it is right now, of all of the threads that are running. That's what enumerate does. An active count just simply returns how many were running. Okay, so... Another interesting thing I want to show you is threading active, I'm sorry, no, 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 current thread. I'm pretty sure that is how we uh, write it. Yeah, okay. It's a function, so we're going to want to run that. And when we run the program, it says, okay, this is the current thread that's running. And obviously, we know because of our enumerate function that that's what's running. I still haven't really answered the question, why is the thread running? We didn't actually start any threads, what's going on here? Well, like I said, a thread is like a process. Like, it's one thing that's currently happening. So you guys can know, of course, that your Python program, all of the code that you're running to begin with, is a thread. Your program can also be a thread. When we create other threads, when we actually start to make other thread objects, well, then we have more threads. So we'll have different numbers of active count. We'll have multiple threads going on. But right now, 
the program that you're running is a thread in itself. And that's a really cool idea. And that's how I wanted to kick off and, uh, and start this new series on threading in the threading module in Python. So those are the three functions that I want you to know for this video. Active count, enumerate, and, uh, and current thread. And in the next video, we're going to actually go ahead and create our own thread. And that's going to be wicked cool, so stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for sticking with me, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.